Hello Delegate, welcome back to MEN 1-1 webinar by International Global Network. I'm Alain and I'll be your host for today. In this opportunity, I would like to explain about what crises are in MUN. As we walk up the stages in MUN, giving a shot to be a delegate of a crisis committee can be a thing for you. So, what is it? A crisis committee is a small body with usually no more than 20 members brought together to deal with an issue of immediate importance. While a general assembly is a specialised committee work to find long-term solutions to long-term problems such as literacy, infant mortality or economic coordination. Crisis committees often handle short-term issues with swift and decisive measures. Crisis committees often deal with issues like wars, revolutions, disaster control or economic collapse. Another key feature of a crisis committee is its dynamic nature. When the body passes a directive, which is essentially a resolution for crisis committees, its effects and results are brought to the body in news articles and speakers. In other words, the topics will continue to change and evolve based on the actions the body does or does not take. A model UN crisis is worth a try, since it operates differently. In the real world, situations arise that cannot be handled in the calm and methodical sitting of a, of a committee. An international crisis can flare up at any moment, and it must be dealt with accordingly, or things could get much worse. When this happens, emergency sessions take place at the highest levels of government. These situation room situations are often unpredictable. They force delegates and representatives to think quickly and decisively. Sometimes errors are made and then rectified within a short time span. A model UN crisis simulates this. It brings an element of excitement into a conference, especially for the delegates who get to sit on the hot seat. Not every conference has a crisis committee. Generally, they can be found at larger conferences that can handle the extra staffing requirements and can provide the classrooms and other elements needed to run a good crisis. If you've decided to try it out, here are some tips you can remember. Number one, same character, just like in any MUN competition. The chair and crisis director made your position for a reason. Acting like your country or character is a great way to stimulate debate and gain recognition. 2. Be flexible. Ideas that are sound one minute can often be rendered moot the next. As topics change, you must alter to approach to them. 3. Be ready to speak. With so few delegates, it is expected to speak often in, an, in a crisis committee. Number 4. Don't be tied to crisis notes. While individual action is fun, it is not nearly as effective as drafting strong directives. Being an active participant in the committee is a good way to demonstrate leadership and clear thinking. 5. Know your committee's rules. Some crisis committees have rules or mechanics to more accurately reflect the workings of their topics. Mastery over these rules can be a strong advantage. 6. Focus on the purpose of the committee. War Council shouldn't be concerned with domestic literacy rates. Election teams shouldn't try to build spaceships. Remembering why your committee has been assembled will grant you clarity of purpose. Now that you know more about the crisis committee, are you ready to take one yourself? If you're looking for any MUN platforms that suits you best, we have a lot of options that you can choose from. Gigi Moon, Aumun, Aimun and MUN Academy by International Global Network. My name is Alan, thanks for joining us and I am signing out. Bye bye.